These days, car companies like to throw in all sorts of jargons and acronyms just to make their cars sound better. I personally believe that a lot of them are just gimmicks. However, my colleague Kampu thinks there's one system that actually works. Hey Kampu. Hi Torek. So, what do we have today? Today we have two Master 6. Okay. But my one is the updated model. How so? It looks the same as mine. Is yours the diesel? Yes. Oh yeah. This diesel is brilliant, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very the efficient. Fuel efficiency, yeah. Yeah, very efficient. And then this Kodo design is also quite sexy. Yep. But how is your car better than mine since it's newer? Because my car is more comfortable now. How? Because it's paired with the GVC G vectoring control. What is GVC? You don't know about this? Uh? No. This is the new system can create more smoother and comfortable drive for drivers and for passengers as well. So you say your slightly newer Mazda 6 drives better than mine? Definitely. I don't believe you, Gampo. You need to believe in now. I will bring you to the special location and I will prove to you. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Alright, Torek. Today we are here to set this driving experience for you to feel the difference between the Mazda 6 with GVC and without GVC. Wow, you did all this for me. Huh? I see a slalom course. I think that looks like a huge runabout. And, seriously man, I didn't know you were into jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> but, in my honest opinion, mm -hmm. this Mazda 6, even without GVC, I've been driving it for the last few days. It's perfect really. I love this car as is. Yes, of course, no doubt. But you found out later, if we try the GVC system, right, it's even better. So for this slalom, right, I will do the constant speed about 25 km per hour. Okay. So you just look at my steering wheel, house adjustment, and the pendulum is swinging left and right. Same, only like any other car, bro. Then see the roundabout. Now you see the pendulum is almost touching my steering wheel. And then my steering wheel adjustment to do the corrections during the roundabout turn. I still stand firm that, you know, the Mazda 6, as it is, this one, even without GVC, it's perfect really. But I'm starting to not like it right now because you're making me dizzy. Oh, sorry, that's my bad. Yes, of course, when you mentioned you will be dizzy with the non GVC car, I'll be not surprised. Lah. But never mind, we will do this the same test for the GVC car. Please focus on my steering wheel and even the pendulum here. Okay, same speed, lah, 25 km an hour. Yes, so during stellium, you can see my steering adjustment is even lesser than the non GVC car. Pendulum swing same, only steering okay lah, I can see a bit lah, but the difference is not so big one lah. Just wait for the round button, then you can notice. And please focus on my steering angle. Hey Kung Fu, actually you're right. You're holding a perfect circle without having to correct or add more lock. Yes. I noticed that in the car without GVC, yep. you had to do more correction and add more input. So, does it impress you? A bit lah, a bit lah. Eyes open already. I need more. Okay, sure, no problem. GVC is a very unique system. It's actually the first control system in the world to vary engine torque in response to steering inputs. That's pretty cool, right? After all the tests, how do you feel now? Okay, we did the slalom test and the roundabout mm -hmm. test. Very dizzy already. Yep. I can see some difference lah. But honestly, I'm still not convinced. Why should I get a Mazda 6 with GVC? That's I knew it. But never mind. I have something special and fun for you. Huh? How special and fun? Let's go to the back. I will show you that. Hey, Kung Fu, what is this? School science experiment ah? I'm sure it'll be watched initially before, right? Okay. Water test. Ah, initially water test. Yeah, correct. No, enough, bro. So what do you have in mind? I want to put my balls in it. What? You want to put your balls into the bowl? Ping pong balls, bro. Oh man, who carries ping pong everywhere? But hold on, I got something better than this one. What's better than ping pong balls? Look at that. Are those ducks? Yes, correct. Ducks! Hey, Kung Fu. Yep? I hope nothing happens to these ducks. No worries. This car comes with the GVC. It will keep them safe. Let's go! As you can see, the smoother cornering with GVC helps keep all the ducks and water in the bowl. That's because they're less body roll for better comfort. Alright, our ducks survived! As I told you, GVC works. This system will less driver, less tiring to drive, and for passenger, it's more comfortable. You can see our ducks here, they're so happy. Hmm. What happens if we don't have GVC, huh, Kampo? Good. Let us put the same test to the non-GVC car. Okay, let's prove go. me wrong. Oh my, 
The absence of GVC to regulate torque in cornering means you have to add more steering input and correction at times. Depending on how you drive, this can cause more body roll and reduce comfort. Just see how such movements throw our poor ducks and water out of the bowl. Oh no! What happened to my other ducks? Duck! What happened to you, duck? <gasps> Kung Fu, I was wrong. At least now you know the difference between the GVC and non-GVC. So, Torek, after all the tests, do you think the GVC is just a gimmick for you? You know what, Kung Fu? I'm starting to believe that GVC is not a gimmick. Mm. I especially love the fact that it gives passengers a more comfortable ride. You come with this GVC system, right? You'll be less tiring to do the long distance drive. True, true. By the way, Kung Fu, does this mean that the car will corner faster also? No. As I mentioned before, these systems will only build more smoother and comfortable drive feeling for passengers and drivers. Hmm, okay. Well, if I'm going to do a lot of miles with this diesel, I might as well do it in a comfortable car. Yeah, true. Okay. We've come to the end of the day. What do we do now? I'm a bit thirsty now. Why don't we just go for data rate? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Jom. Oh, Kung Fu. Yeah. Last person there must blend here. Huh? You surely lose. We'll see.